people have seen all these ads on TV for drugs and uh, everything sounds wonderful. Then you get to this quick fine print thing at the end. Well, my job is to slow down the fine print and really understand if the drug company has done the right thing with this drug with all the disclaimers and warnings that they're supposed to be putting out there. Every drug has side effects and particularly drugs that are newly on the market, a lot of people don't realize that there's still a testing and kind of guinea pig uh, phase going on with those drugs because they may test a drug on two, three, four thousand people before it gets approved to be marketed to the public at large. And that's not enough testing to know whether there will still be a lot of people who get hurt by that drug in the first few years that it's on the market. What happens with drugs usually is the manufacturer goes into the Food and Drug Administration, they've got one little narrow window of saying this is going to help this, these 100,000, 200,000 people over here. Then they get it approved by the government, but then they, the Pandora's box is open and it gets marketed to millions and millions of people, and a lot of them it gets marketed inappropriately to, and our job is to come in and say, wait a second, you're only supposed to uh, sell this drug and promote this drug for these small number of people, and you over-promoted it, and you misled people, and now you've got to pay for the injury you caused. For any situation where you've got uh, a potential um, injury from a dangerous drug, you have to have a, a lawyer who has uh, experience, particularly knowing something about that, that kind of drug, and who has resources to help you pursue the case, because the other side is going to have lots and lots of resources.